They have been looking for the sponsors of Gen Z. They have been looking for the leader of Gen Z. Can I tell you who the leader is? Mm -hmm. Can I break to you the news? The leader of uh, Eric Omondi and Gen Z and Mandamano and the demonstration and the revolution is with Guys, hope you're doing great. You're right here at Joma Kenyatta International Arrival. Natkona, the president of comedy, Baba Kaila, CEO Sisi Kwa Sisi. I'm a land. To now, I'm a land, uh, land with different sana, wearing white gown and that. Uh, so, Raisi, Shongele mm. Shikwaje. Because I'm a Shikuru Mungu, Nimerudi, Kikwatu Menda Matanga Kidogo Batuma Maliza. So, we are back in the city. Na Maisha Sasa Yendele. Yes. Umeland you kiwa different sana. Tuja kuzoya hivi. Maybe tell us why you're wearing a white gown and also a kakade. I'm wearing a white gown and carrying a white dove for two reasons. First, because everything happening in Kenya now is very spiritual. It is not physical. And it's something that I spoke about for the past two years. It has come to pass. And I think I have the moral authority to speak again on what could or will happen in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's happening in the country is very spiritual. And truly I told you that the Kenyan parliament must be demolished and a new parliament must be built. Maybe in Upper Hill. Na ipigwe kala ya white. Yo building ili bildiwa na wazungu. Ukingia ukundani utaona signs, sijuizi na ka Freemasons. Ukiwa MP ukingia pale, unawana walivote yes? Ya? Kitu common sense, walivote yes. Saizi wanaomba msama. Ukiwaliza, watakuambia sijui, I'm sorry. What Gen Z did by entering the parliament was very spiritual. Wakakako wakiti ya wetangula. Wakachukua ile scepter. It is a sign of authority. It means that the power moved from the parliament and the speaker to the people. When they went and sat on that chair and took that scepter and that gown, it means that the power moved from the president, from the speaker, from the chief justice, and now the power is with the people. And I want to call upon the president of the Republic of Kenya, President William Samoe Ruto. This is, what, this is what I'm carrying in my hands is a sign of peace. I come in peace, we come in peace, but we have a message. We bear a message. They have been looking for the sponsors of Gen Z. They have been looking for the leader of Gen Z. Can I tell you who the leader is? Mm -hmm. Can I break to you the news? The leader of... Uh, Eric Omondi and Gen Z and Mandamano and the demonstration and the revolution is William Samoe Ruto. The sponsor of the Gen Z, Jumen Taftasana, is the president William Samoe Ruto. He's the one who is supporting, fueling, sponsoring. Every time he does a press statement, he's sponsoring Gen Z's. His actions, his words, are fueling anger. So he's the leader. And Alianzisha. And Endeleza. I want to call upon the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, to first start by dissolving the government. It's unfortunate he doesn't have the power to dissolve the parliament, constitutionally change. But he has the power to dissolve the government. Kibaki did it in 2007. Kibaki fired all ministers, fired all PSS, and started afresh. I'm calling upon the president to dissolve the cabinet, to fire the cabinet and PSS and heads of parastatals, all of them. And then, on Thursday, to Nenda State House. Come on, State House, Taftan Goya White, Taftan Degia White, Taftan Flag. After the president fires all the cabinet secretaries, we will go and talk to the president. Because we want the, 
the government of William Samuel Ruto to be the government of the people, by the people, for the people. The ministers in the government should be the ministers of the people, by the people, for the people. Eric, talking of going uh, to State House on Thursday, mm -hmm. Najwa Zote's State House Mefungwa, you don't know how we're going to manage to be there. He will allow us. Also, and also, Nimona, comment section, Jensi from different counties, Wake Uliza, how are they going to come here, Watafikaje, Nairobi, because they want to be part of it? Uh, the president will allow us to meomba. Sini meomba publicly. To my penna time, to my request. Now to my the guest will be three, three hundred. There'll be one hundred mamambogas in white, kama yangu, one hundred boda bodas in white, kama yangu, and one hundred youths in white, kama yangu. In fact, now there's a one hundred PWDs, people with disability. So it'll be four hundred. Ata to keep chai to taku. Eh, to na uzuri. So you want to have a talk with our friends? A talk face to face, not on Twitter. Not on TV, not a press statement. I want, we want to talk to the president. I want to talk to the president and tell him, uh, Your Excellency, sir. No, our, our fire, sir. Uh, sympathy, the president. Now, we advise our, 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 our fire before Thursday. So that we can now have a talk. Eric, you know, you are going state house in a pose, a great you know, risk for what? So, kuna any form of protection in your water kwa nile? A partner. Kwa tuna flag, ita kwa very peaceful. Ita kwa very peaceful. Ata nibebo kupige etumbi ya jachukwa simu yangu. So, you know, kituna fanya different this yes. time na machi yako? Yeah, we are telling the president and the government, the time, mm -hmm. the people, tutafika hapa, tufanya hivi, mm -hmm. unangaliwa. Asi ambush. Asi ambush, mm -hmm. ni 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Police pale. Yeah. 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 We'll give names of 100 border borders. We'll give names of 100 people with disability. We'll give names of 100 youth. Your list is the Ata mwene pe, nitaandika leo. Ya? Nitumie president. Nitumie itumbi, nitumie president. Nikwana nambaki. And Eric, people are asking if you are a prophet. There is something that you said last year, I think, to Kianza. And it happened this year when you were talking about the street. Kitutu li zungumza about people going to the street. Are you a prophet? I think I have, may God protect me. I think I'm the only Kenyan who has the moral authority to say it in broad daylight that what is happening today, it is Eric Omondi who started it consistently, every month, every week for the past two years. The evidence is there. Everything we said is what's happening now. We talked about Finance Bill 2023, and we said, Vijana watashikan. And people said, Wakenya cannot. And it's the same thing happening right now, Trudy. Mutaicheza tena next month, if the president does not fire the cabinet. What happens if he doesn't fire the cabinet? Yani, no. What will the young people do if he does not There'll fire no the cabinet, peace. parliament, you know, Haita, who are restructured, Stella? What is, you see, spiritually speaking, the power is not with the president. Yeah. Spiritually speaking, the power is not with the Tangula. Mm. Spiritually speaking, the power is not with the CJ Komen. Spiritually speaking, the power is back with the people. And for the president to gain the power back, he has to gain trust. There's no public trust, there's a vote of no confidence. So the president has to first dissolve the government. When we were talking to you last year, you said for you to meet with the president, or rather the deputy president, you must talk to him. Our letter of Mamambo, a letter in water border border. When did I say that? Around last year. Last, last year. year. Now, the question is, has the president given you the green light to take these people to, 
to state house ambao tuta wa ambush kama zingine si ambush president <laughs> state house is a protected area uh -huh. you can't just go uh -huh. you have to seek uh -huh. permission uh -huh. what i've done is public uh -huh. i've done it on my instagram my facebook my uh -huh. twitter uh -huh. so it is a, a a letter of request uh -huh. na see notice the polite notice <laughs> uh, last year, ulikuwa naongea ukisema kwamba last year ulipuulizo uh, ukasema kwamba you cannot work or meet with the president or the deputy president not unless akubali upeleke mamamboga hawa tuote ambao wana, wana taseka pali state house mm. now, right now unasema kwamba you are going to meet with the president or with these people mm. ni kitu ambayo maybe umesha kubaliana na watu wa state house Wapeleke, a, what, what's your plan? Uh, the message has always been the same. President Aki campaign. Hata kusema jinzi. Alisema mama mboga na boda boda. So it is the, uh, the contract was between President Ruto and mama mboga and boda boda. Mm. Hata kusema vijana. Hata kusema mba, awa madaktari. Alisema for five, for three years alisema boda boda na mama mboga. That was the contract he signed. Uh, so I, I have sent my so invitation, my request to the president, and I've let him know that uh, I'll, I'll be coming with, with 400 people. But you know, that is his house. Plug. Friday 11. Yeah? We are not forceful. We are not ambushing. I've never posted like I can say. Please fire the uh, cabinet, PSS, and uh, parastatals. And on 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 Friday to now, we eleven. President, and as a and as a sema, kijanamdogo si jari buku ya pastatals. Ni nyumbangu si kuje. Mita sema. Sita enda. Ni mi sita enda. Lakini tuonge apalembele. Muta muta ntafuta tuwa nyenta vingi ne. Mi mi si 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 I expect state house controller. The president of the machine was him. See, as a man, the piggy. As a medical, you know what, my son, my soldier to my list. Eh, no, I talk up. Don't be our mamma, what I know, and I talk on a cool. What I know, and I talk up. Nini. I'm out of 47 women. We could not only be a 47 women from 47 counties. 47 youth from 47 counties. Moja Spokot, Moja Machakos, Moja Kilifi, Moja Kisumu, Moja Nuapati list. We find a background check, but Nataka Rice at Tafute post tatu. Apatia Mamamboga wa tatu kwa government. At Tafute post tatu. Apatia actual border border. Power to a border border minimum of Somaban. Not to a KU. Nivijan Okonama papers. Afanya Serikali ya Mamamboga. Atona Baraka Jayon. That is what will stop what's going on in this country. I hope I've answered your question. So we're not ambushing anyone. For the very first time, I met a media. For the very first time, I met a media. I met a Friday 11, to met And of course, if he says, no, don't come, what's the next move? Will you still maintain that the president now should resign? Ama, what is the next plan? What I'm telling you is what will save our president, Dr. William Samoy Root. What I'm telling you now, what I've written on Instagram, is what will save his government. So he can do it or not do it. If he does it, the government will stay. If he, if he, if he doesn't hear it, and you are God, I'll to pay a free will. A plug says you could last mission and yama come to you like a fish. Says you could for naive come to you. Kekatana or China. Mimi, not advice. A fire cabinet, a fire PS, a fire heads of parastatal and government officials, a dissolved government, a kutena na mama, boga 100, boda boda 100, youth 100, people with disability 100. Kidogo, what I can't go and get a hawkers, but stacky go get a status in dogu. A kutena now, it's a quatu, ni one hour, bro. 11 to 12, he's a busy man.
So Eric, um, ukisema hivyo kuna kuna vitu zenye unasema unataka afanye mm. na kuna vitu zenye ashafanya. Mm. The changes that he had announced, you know, atafanya kwa cabinet yake na nini nini. So you're not satisfied. Asirisha fund. Asirisha fund. What's happening? Our our cabinet secretary ndo 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 wale walikuwa nashika madoko mara mbili. Corruption niko. Si wote tunajua penye corruption niko. So instead of instead of losing the entire government, kuna opportunity ya the president to save the day. But if he doesn't do that, iko sawa, iko sawa, iko sawa. Sisi hatuna ubaya. Sisi hatuna vita. Eh nimevaa white, nimebeba dawa ya white. It's a sign of peace. Tunakuja kwa upole, kwa unyenyekevu. Naomba rais wa Kenya Daktari William Samuel Ruto anikubalie nikuje na wamama na boda boda na vijana na watu wa walemavu. Eh Ijumaa saa 5 asubuhi ah Alhamisi saa 5 asubuhi mpaka saa 6 asubuhi. Yeye ako na, mam, na mambo mingi anafanya, ako busy. Atachukua time yake kuna vitu tutamwambia. Mm. Akitaka media ikuje ya yeah. kama taki media tufunge mlango tuongee <laughs> na tuombe na tupendane but i promise you if that happens and i leave state house at 12 on thursday na nitoke kama hiyo imefanyika utaona venye vitu zitanyoweka zitanyoka asante sana rais